Hello, today we will read the story Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time lived Goldilocks and the Three Bears. One day Goldilocks went for a walk in the forest and found a house. She knocked and when nobody answered, she decided to go inside. At the table there were three bowls of porridge. Goldilocks was hungry. She tasted the porridge from the big bowl. This porridge is too salty, she said. She tasted the porridge from the medium-sized bowl. This porridge is too sweet, she said. She tasted the porridge from the small bowl. This porridge is just right, she said, and she ate it all up. Goldilocks felt tired, so she walked into the living room and saw three chairs. She sat in the big chair to rest her feet. This chair is too big, she said. She sat in the medium-sized chair. This chair is too big, too, she said. She sat in the small chair. This chair is just right, she sighed. Just as Goldilocks settled down into the chair to rest, it broke into pieces. By now Goldilocks was very tired, so she went upstairs to the bedroom. She lay down on the large bed. This bed is too hard, she said. She lay down on the medium-sized bed. This bed is too soft, she said. She lay down on the small bed. This bed is just right, she sighed. She curled up and fell asleep. As she was sleeping, the three bears came home. Someone's been eating my porridge, growled Daddy Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Mommy Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge and it's all gone, cried Baby Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled Daddy Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mommy Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair and it's broken, cried Baby Bear. When they got upstairs to the bedroom, Daddy Bear growled. Someone's been sleeping on my bed. Someone's been sleeping on my bed too, said the mummy bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed and she's still there, cried baby bear. Just then Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears. Help! She screamed. Goldilocks ran down the stairs and into the forest and she never went back into the woods again. And the story has finished.